The doctrine of the Trinity is a most fascinating doctrine because it teaches that there is one God. There was never a God before. There never be, will be a God after. There is one God. He's always been God. He always will be God. And he demonstrates himself in three persons. He is the Father. He is the Son. He is the Holy Spirit. When we read the scriptures, we find that the Father, he does things that only God can do. We find that the Son, Jesus, does things that only God can do. And we find that the Holy Spirit does things that only God can do. And somebody say, well, see, there's three gods. No, there's one God who demonstrates himself in three persons. Now, here's something that's very important to understand and differentiate, and that is this. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit are God all at one time. It's not like there was God the Father, and he became God the Son, and he became God the Holy Spirit. That didn't happen. What happened is, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, all at one time, the Trinity, the triune God, sets out to accomplish the plan. He creates man to love and to cherish and to enjoy the fellowship with. Man rebelled against God and man is in trouble with God. If you're watching this and you're not a Christian, you stand in trouble with God. And when you come to the realization and you believe that God is God and there's not another option, he's the only hope, then you realize the destitute situation that you're in. And God says, I have an answer for your problem. He is Jesus Christ. Turn to Jesus Christ and you can be saved. He died on the cross, he rose from the grave, and he loves you and he wants to save your soul. Give your life to Jesus before it's too late.